Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Commander Lennart here with another video on DC Legends. And it is yet that time of the week again. We collect our rewards. So let's go ahead and see where we ended up. And we got the 140 fragments. So we ended up in the top 1500 rank. 1000 battle essences. So let's go ahead and collect our rewards right now. And I gotta say that uh, just like Nightwing seemed to be a bloodbath. This season also seemed to be a bloodbath. People were pushing really hard for Dr. Poison. And I know she's a really good physical character. But anyway, let's go ahead and collect our rewards and take a look at the new PvP hero for the season. And that's going to be Terra. And uh, I've heard some really good things about her. Some people had some mixed emotions about her. But it seems that uh, as time has gone on, people are liking her more and more. I know she has that ability where she damages your team also. But apparently, it seems to be a good trade-off from what I've read. I haven't played with her. Obviously, I don't have her. But we're going to get a chance to get at least 140 fragments for Terra. So, uh, a very uh, well thought of hero, I should say, by the community, I think. So, let's see. We'll see how this season goes. But anyway, let's go ahead and take a brief look at Dr. Poison. And uh, this is, the, of course, the second time that we uh, have had her as a, a reward. And uh, sadly, last time we only uh, got 90 fragments so we're not going to be able to take her to legendary even though she is a character that i was actually looking forward to getting to legendary because she seems like a very good uh, physical uh, character and she has a very powerful heal from what i've read anyway so we have virulence which is her first ability her basic attack special damage to an enemy if bleed on target two bleeds applied to random enemies and of course this all goes up by one more stack at level eight and damage goes up as well special damage we know is a really really good thing especially against characters that have intelligence down or low intelligence stat um because it, it's not depending on strength uh, strength down which is right now i would say one of the more popular debuffs in pvp then we have the legendary upgrade for it plague mutation bleeds on target have a duration increased by one so uh, it seems like uh, now here's what i don't know uh it, i don't know if this actually applies to bleeds that are already on the target by other characters that apply bleeds or just the ones that she applies i would assume that it's for every bleed on the target so for a bleed team this seems seems very very then we have anti venom this is the heal that i was talking about this uh, uh team heal so aoe team heal so aoe additional two percent max health healed per bleed on enemy team so again if you're running a, a heavy bleed team something like uh siren um cheetah um you know those two characters very good for a uh, bleed teams a bizarro bizarro superman uh also uh, of course we can talk about camo uh you know the character everybody loves uh so yeah so definitely this is going to increase exponentially it doesn't seem to have a cap so that's really cool because Potentially, you can actually, uh, you know, do a full heal on your entire team if you if the conditions are met. Then we have uh, the legendary upgrade catalytic converter cooldown minus one, so pretty good. Um, heals usually tend to have a very prohibitive cooldown time, so anytime you can re reduce that, it's great. Gas grenade. This is her third ability. Bleed on enemy team. Additional light damage to enemy team per bleed on the enemy team. So uh, you apply the bleeds and of course then you have that extra damage which is just light damage but then again when you start actually taking this up true damage is what starts uh, actually applying which true damage is really good again not 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 um, affected by strength down as well and I believe intelligence down as well if I remember correctly. Then we have the legendary upgrade death by inches apply two heal immunities to random enemies so again do cancel out uh, heals now this is of course more for a pve application not so much in pvp because people are not really running healers on, on pvp zatanna is probably the one that i see the most but she's mainly there for uh, debuffs and to deal with green characters then we have the passive ability master of poisons this is a 40% chance for enemies to take 1% max health as damage per bleed on the enemy team at the beginning of Dr. Poison's turns. Maximum of 30%. So basically an additional 30% uh, damage, um, you know, added on to, the t to, to that character uh, aside from the damage that you're, you're dealing and the damage that the bleeds also do. Then we got progressive to toxicity, equal chance for bleed on random enemies. So we see that she can apply bleeds as AoE, and then she also has a chance to randomly apply bleeds to the enemy team. So I think she looks really, really good on paper. So let me know your, your thoughts on her in the comment section below. I know some of you actually have her already, and I'm actually jealous for you because I really wanted her. But again, I didn't uh, play hard enough for that season. Let's go ahead and uh, open some arena packs. Looking for the same characters as usual. Still looking for Lex Luthor. 
Castaway Green Arrow right now is also very sought after for myself. And uh, of course, anything we'll get on top of that is just basically icing on the cake. So let's go ahead and open the first pack. And we're going to get Batman, which I've said many times before. It's a character that I need to work on, but right now on my list, he's probably like, a, you know, the, out of the top 10, he's on the lowest five uh, right now. So we got Bane again. We got Lex Luthor. He's a character we're actually trying to uh, rank up. And there you go, another one. So maybe tonight is the night that we actually may be able to do this uh, with him. Take him to uh, uh, Legendary 2 at least. Then we have a Green Arrow Castaway, uh, Swamp Thing. We have more Batman. We got some uh, PvP energy. We got some Cheetah there. Okay, and we have some Batman again. It seems like Batman is the one that uh, I apparently need to be working on. Uh, Cheetah again. We got some more Bane. Uh, some Rats good. We need only, what, 16 more to get up to Legendary. We got another drop for Lex Luthor, so that's great. Legendary, we got another drop for Lex Luthor, so that's great. So let's go ahead and, uh, if I can actually tap the button. Then we got Bane again. More Batman. More Cheetah. More Cheetah as well. By the way, if you guys don't have Cheetah, you really should work on her. She's a staple in my team, PvP teams at least. Okay, we got some Deathstroke and some PvE energy. Some more Bane here. More Lex Luthor. Excellent. 177 out of 90. So minus 90, that's what, 87? Okay, so uh, we need just a few more pulls to be able to take him to Legendary 2. Okay, there's another one. Excellent. 184 out of 90. More Bane here. And of course, we pull the Batman that I didn't mention. We got Bane again and some PvP energy. I, and I like PvP energy on Mondays because that just helps me, uh, you know, go through, uh, go up the ranks rather quickly. Okay, we got Catwoman and previously we got Cheetah. Catwoman is a very, very good character. I'm actually very tempted to bump her up the list and work on her. We got some more Batman again. Batman again. We got 495, so we can open one more. We got some PvE energy and some Bane. All right, guys, so that is it for this video this week. And let me know in the comment section below, did you get the rank that you were aiming for? Are you going to try and get Dr. Poison at least a Legendary 1 by getting a 140 fragments? Let me know in the comment section below, guys. And if you enjoyed the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up, guys, as that helps out the channel a great deal. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on all the great content that I'll be bringing you in the days ahead. And as always, guys, have a fantastic rest of your day and stay legendary.